This video is about a person that is disrespectful, Tommy Sutton Mirror. I'm going to keep my other piece up still, but fair use. This is a teaching moment. So I say it again, fair use, because it's a teaching moment. Thank you. Hello, you two. How everyone doing tonight? Uh, hopefully, they're y'all doing very well. This video is about Tommy Sotomayor once a fucking again. Why is it? Once again, this is about Tommy Sotomayor. I'm going to say it again for the people that did not understand me. Now, I think it was years and years and years ago. I used to watch Tommy Sotomayor. And then I started seeing him saying some off the wall stuff about young kids to die and stuff like that. It pissed me up. So, I still watch every now and then, but then I just seen it more. And it was like, the more and longer it goes along, and he would like be saying bitches and niggas and stupid asses and all types of shit. And once again, you know, it don't never stop. He always got to put his two cents in everything. But no one seen, I ain't seen no video on, on him talking about um, Travis Scott. Now, but he, it seemed to me that he mo most likely, he talked crap about DMX. He talked crap about, he just continued to talk crap about these people. Now, with that being said, he's sitting here talking about the, the killers that killed Mr. Dolph. And he's smirking. It's like he think it's funny. He's sitting here smirking and shit. And I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with this nigga? You know, but we already know what's wrong with him. Um, I'm sure you remember this other guy that was on YouTube, which he's back on. They allow him to come back on YouTube, you know, but he don't sit there and, and pretend like he a black person, like putting black makeup on and stuff and stuff like that, or run around saying niggas this, or sitting there and trying to, um, talk sexually to his cousin. Now, that was a white boy. They got his ass off of there, out of there. It's no different just because Tommy, he's black. That don't mean nothing. He wants to be white. He always talking about black people. He's talking about, I mean, talking about people, mothers is grieving and shit. I mean, really. So, with that being said, okay, he he's saying that people in the black community that try that stays there and tries to help or whatever, they get they end up dead because that's what they get for their gratitude or whatever. That's how it sounds to me. And But he's making motherfucking jokes. Like, oh, they got a mask on me because of COVID-19. Are you fucking serious? He is a disrespectful asshole. He continues to do this. He does it every time. It doesn't matter how proper he try to sound. It doesn't matter how respectable or up key or whatever the case may be or even if you try to say it in a nice way saying bullshit is still bullshit whether you said it in a nicer way or not oh like this Tommy Sotomayor is nothing but an asshole he's a he's a black man that wish he was white and he's gonna continue to do that and even if it's a man that died that was doing good for his community he's always gonna find some kind of fault in it and always gonna sit there and try to say something off the wall that makes him think that he's superior over other people he's not superior over other people he went and talked about a fucking community was did not have a lot of money and it looked kind of bad but he went in on that. He went in on a lot of females that spoke of it. But when a black man called him and said why he stays there because he couldn't afford another place, something to look better, he talked respectful to that man. Why? Because he was scared of certain men. But I guess he's not scared of women. That's why he talk about us like we like he do. I'm sorry. It doesn't matter if a female she chooses to wear a wig, if she chooses to wear a lipstick, if she chooses to wear makeup, let her do it. It's her prerogative. I'm sure you heard of that. That's a fucking song. Now, with that being said, you ain't call somebody uh, the things that you call. He disrespects the dead. He talks crap about the dead.
another woman that was talking positive about the community. He was talking bull crap about her. So with that being said, it doesn't make any sense. You took me to do something and get this nigga off the thing and I'm getting tired of my videos getting gone. I'm missing because of this asshole. No, if he want to talk about people and talk shit about people, he need to be talked about. Why he need to be talked about? <coughs> because the simple fact is this. If you can get online and you can sit there and act like you a big man, acting like you so big and bad, and you gonna talk shit about people like you don't got no damn sense. Anything I say about you should not be anything I put up about you, which is a teaching thing. People, young kids, do not listen to Tommy Sotomayor. Young kids do not go around talking and disrespecting the dead because it's wrong to do. Especially... An uh, extra special, especially if a man sit here and was trying to do better for his community, something what Tommy Sotomayor lack of, but yeah, but he got over fucking 20 something fucking followers. Are y'all sick in your head? Is something fucking wrong with you? Because you want to sit there and fucking grip on a damn jackass? Go ahead and pin a damn fucking pin on a damn donkey's ass. Because you know what? That's what he is. Nothing but a goddamn dumpy's ass. Because he's sitting there and continue to talk about fucking people that die. But no one's sitting here fucking think about that. But you want to follow him? You're just as bad as him, you piece of shit. All of you are just as bad as him. If you're going to sit here and follow this nigga while he's sitting there and clapping him on, while he's sitting here on here talking mad about somebody, sitting here making a joke, Tarzan, that's why they were six feet away because he might have had COVID. Are you fucking serious? He's sitting here smirking in a fucking video and you can tell that he's sitting here picking and laughing. But people want to jump down my throat when other people like me. They're calling Tommy Sotomayor out on his bullshit and his lies and his love crap. He can't even he couldn't even stay he couldn't even stay proper like he was trying to be doing this video. He's sitting there cracking smiles and laughing. Your mama says laughing because you're cracking smiles and thinking it's fucking funny. And that's fucking wrong. That's wrong as hell. Y'all have a nice day. Don't forget Fair use. Niggas who it'd be five niggas watching, but uh, excuse me, two thousand seven hundred people watching, but it'll be five niggas that will try to fuck it up so y'all can't talk. And most of y'all black people are stupid. Most black people are ignorant. Most black people are out of line. Most black people are evil. The black race is a horrible race. There's a bunch of jackasses and jackoffs and loud mouths and people who just want to be seen. Niggas, y'all got more fucking beef for me, the internet guy, the guy who's telling the truth, than you do about the people who kick in your ass every up. We don't know. He's one of them variants. Right, Mar? They stayed away. They stayed at least six feet away so they can put him at least six feet deep. This dude said it's not funny, bro. But I don't give a fuck what you think if it ain't funny, nigga. Fuck you and all the rest of them niggas that don't think it's funny. You know what it is? Somebody's dead, and I didn't kill him. Y'all niggas need to quit that stupid shit. You know, uh, you're making jokes about somebody that got killed. Nigga, I'm making jokes about the fact that... They use yeah, that's why they shot him from so far away. You got, they, they didn't shoot him up close. They wanted to maintain social distancing. They'll tell you the, the shooters stopped at six feet. Two masked men with the COVID mask on. So they wanted to make sure while they were killing young Dolph, they didn't catch. They wanted to make sure they didn't catch COVID. They wanted to make sure that they adhere to all the uh, state guidelines. So that that is at least good. I think liberals probably found that the most interesting part, that, hey, well, at least they uh, adhere to the state's guide guidelines and wore their mask. If you want to talk about people being in... You got this man, and he wants to be seen as a, 
a savior of the black community. And this is how they get a lot of you. They, you know how these people say, we never see you in the hood, Tommy. Why are you daring somebody to go somewhere to do something that ends like this? What does he win? What did young Dolph win? Somebody tell me what the trophy is that he's won. Oh, they had a nice memorial outside of where he got shot at. They put out some teddy bears and flowers. What do you think his wife and his children can do with those teddy bears and flowers? RJ said, stop acting like he ain't have beef. No, I'm not acting like he didn't have beef. What I'm saying is he shouldn't have been there, but that's kind of what you do. He didn't win anything. Right, they're playing his music, his catalog goes up, and more people buy it. T-shirts and coffins. Yeah, he won a grade. He get to lay down forever. He get to miss his children growing up. He get to miss his daughter getting married. 